no, 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 no. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Ted Najat Fernandez Takan. I was born and raised in Oreketa City, province of Misamis Occidental. Currently, I am based here in Ozami City in the same province, working as the Director of the Educational and Digital Media Services of La Salle University. And I am here in the ADM studio of La Salle University right now. As the Director, I am leading a team who's responsible for the educational technology advancements and training and digital media productions and streaming of La Salle University. Just recently, I was designated as the new artistic director of LSU Teatro Gindigan, the resident theater company of La Salle University. So let's talk about my humble beginnings as an artist. Let me bring you to my childhood years. At an early age, I am already the entertainer of the family. As you can see, I was having fun balancing myself with the hand of my grandfather while the whole family is also having fun watching me. Also, at an early age, my mother was also having fun putting dresses and makeups with me and my brothers. This were my early years as a performer. Elementary and high school years. Though I was in a science curriculum program where the program focused much on Englishes, sciences, and mathematics, I really tried my best to join a performing, not a, I mean various performing arts clubs. Being on stage was somewhat of a hunger. This hunger continued when I entered the portals of La Salle University. So I enrolled in mathematics education, but still desired to be a performer at the same time. This desire brought me to the doorsteps of LSU Teatro Gindigan. During my Teatro Gindigan years, I was introduced to professional theater training. I met several professional theater groups actors, directors, and arts practitioners. And I started performing professionally, not only in the corners of La Salle University, but also in various big cities of the Philippines and even outside the country. Thanks to my ever dearest mentor, Dr. Felimon Blanco. Years had passed, I became a teacher and I ventured to cultural education. Still, I continued my passion in theater by standing as the associate director of Teatro Gindigan. When I took this role, it was also the time that I started teaching arts and design of the senior high school department of La Salle University. I just felt empty-handed and wanted proper or practical training. I felt like I was somewhat an untrained theater and arts practitioner. So when the Intercultural Theater Institute of Singapore announced that they'll be having an audition here in the Philippines, I really seized the opportunity to try. And so Singapore, in ITI, I had an overwhelming excitement but layered with a little bit of fear. Fear of not being, not being good enough. Fear of failing expectations. Fear of crossing cultural boundaries and my constant anxiety against my own ego. I had a crazy roller coaster ride. I don't even know if I am sane enough for I mean, I am sane enough to come back home, but I am home. I am in the Philippines, I am in Ozami City, and it's easy for me to go back to my hometown. Came moment when I decided that I wanted to be 
an arts practitioner or continue to be practicing what um, what I am practicing right now is when our ITI director Sasi kept on emphasizing about about if I wanted to be a good actor then I need to be a good person good actor is becoming a good person I was glued to that statement if I wanted to live my life then why not live it by being a good person by being one I can be a good artist myself I know I am privileged that I uh, I am trained in ITI I am blessed that I am trained in ITI and I also believe I also believe that being good I mean I also believe that it is really good to be blessed but it is better to be a blessing so now I am trying my best to be a to be a blessing to the community I am serving basically I am practicing theater arts as an actor director playwright designs and at the same time film productions being the director of the educational and digital media services of La Salle University from the old normal to the now normal to the next normal I believe that the kind of performances we are having will continue to morph to whatever hybridity of forms it will strive it will continue to strive and I am hoping that it will go back to the basic idea of arts for humanity and humanity for the world I'd like to end by quoting Beckett quote ever tried ever failed no matter try again fail again fail better and quote and I'd like to add fail better and be a better person Thank you.